So Vanilla has reduced their stress. That, at least that happened. Alright. Let's help out a few people. So Bogdanius. Oh, you, you, nothing specific? You're good? Alright. Lotus. Obsessed with the cleanliness. Alright, let's get you healed up. Lucas. Just Shocker. You're willing to go wherever too? Can I do anything here? No, I don't want to spend these because I need them for the guild. So I'm just going to have to stomach the cost. Bogdanius. An Imperial may just have to wait a little bit. I don't know if they I don't know if they get a decent bonus from the Abbey as a not necessarily religious character, do they? I mean I could just try it. See how it goes. What's her what's his deal? Fear of unholy. Oh, will not pray or flagellate. Alright. Be my guest. Reduced cost, there we go. But it, and he uses bus. I the two things I'm trying to upgrade right now don't need bus, so that's that's alright. Let's save some money for now and forever. There we go. So they're on the road to recovery. Hopefully they don't disappear from my party for like 12 episodes or something. And Plague Doctors, Crusaders, and Bounty Hunters. This game refuses to show me any evidence that the uh, that the Houndmaster even exists, doesn't it? They just won't. It just It's just not showing up. Like, no, there, there's no Houndmaster. Too bad. I couldn't buy it right now anyway, but I'm just blown away by the fact that I still haven't seen evidence that it even exists in the game, aside from being told. Yeah, two more and I can increase the mastery so that we get the level 3 skills. What do we get down here? We got a new item, right? 25% bonus damage versus unholy. That is very handy. But reduce dodge. That comes quite in handy against some of those ruins runs, which is probably what I should try to plan next. Yeah. Oh, hey! We just unlocked the boss. The boss of the Warrens. That would be... Ooh, that would be Piggy Piggy Piggy. Not a really big not really big fan of Piggy. He's kind of a dicky dicky dicky. <laughs> um, do I have a good setup to fight Piggy? Let's see. Could use a Grave Robber. If I were to fight the Pig... I'd probably bring Claire, Dargona. Are you good in second slot? Yeah. So we need the ability to attack various rows again, because we need to very specifically not attack Lilber, because he's a dick. Dargona would, would be decent. Claire would be decent, because she can also attack basically every slot, which is good. Let's see. We still have a yeah, we still have a genuine healer that's not gonna screw me with random number generators. Which is also good. Divine comfort, divine grace, yep. All set up there. And then it probably is vanilla. Let's see, for the sniper shot. Blind fire, no. Sniper shot, yeah. Second does last rank rank back there. 60% damage versus marked. But mostly just a strong attack in general. Is that the person I want to use out of this setup? It's either Vanilla or Shadow Scythe. Shadow Scythe is equally tempting. Let's see. So, Pistol Shot does reduce damage. Both of them can clean weapons to get more powerful. Uh, Shadow Scythe has a damage of 6 to 12, while Vanilla has... 5 to 11. But her shot doesn't do reduced percentage shot. It just does 100%. As opposed to this character doing... Yeah, 75% damage. It's kind of a bummer. So, and bonus crit. Yeah. I think I'll go with vanilla out of, these, out of this pairing. Alright, let's plan here. So, I'm going to very carefully remember this time to take these legendary items off my characters until the fight starts. For the love of God, let's please remember that. Oops. How do I... There we go. Um, bonus damage, yes. And then down here is the, uh, where is it? The one I want is the rank one, yeah, the, the gloves. Someone else has the gloves, that's the issue. Alright. The Joe? Oh, it's going to be the other... 
It's up here. Crookshank. I see you. You're not getting away from me. Um, other one. I'm losing them on the screen. There we go. Alright, rank one bonus damage. That'll be handy. So much bonus damage. Like 50% bonus damage on that character is going to come in handy. Um, you get 1% uh, crit. It has no drawbacks, but it's kind of a bummer. I don't know if I'll stick with that. When I have other ranged characters items to go with. Uh, um, um, Dargona? Nope. You also need ranged items. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Uh, there's Fate. Let's grab these so I can put them on Dargona real quick. There we go. Swap them over. We used someone else with ranged attacks too. You, there you are. Let's get that out of there. Because Vanille could do with some bonus accuracy to avoid any dodge opportunities completely. Let's see. Vanille's equipped. Dargona's equipped. Claire's equipped. Who am I missing? Sozni. Needs a secondary vessel item. Virtue chance bonus? Not a terrible idea. Because we, we are putting a stress item on them, and that would be handy to help them not get obliterated in a bad scenario. I think I'll go for that. Virtue chance. Just try to... Uh, except it is reduced hit points. Oh, it's, it's one reduced hit points. That's, that's, that's fine. That's fine. But I'd like to tip the scales in my favor so that if we do get wiped out... If she does freak out, at least I'll get the opportunity to try to stop her from going evil, basically. Everyone is at 20 or less stress. Our reward is going to be a man at arms item, a guardian shield. What? 10% protection, 50% heals received, and 5 dodge when you're in rank 4. Interesting. Why would I want to be in. His skills don't even really work in rank 4, do they? That's kind of dumb. <laughs> in rank 4, all you can do is. is you can use two item. You can use two skills that uh, buff people, and you can set yourself to defend one teammate. Basically, like you can defend someone, which is cool. But like he's a melee fighter, that's hard to kill. Like you want him up front. That shield's a bummer. Wow. It's just for if you want to hang out in the back and do defend over and over again, which I don't think is a, a plan I I plan on using anyway. Let's go after the Swine Prince with the old girl team. I'm sure nothing will go wrong of any kind. They're all going to die down here. Frankly, if characters die, it'd be easier to stay ahead of the uh, the uh, experience curve in this game. So I don't have to worry about uh, running out. Alright, so this is where I overstock my party. In an attempt to uh, avoid anything going wrong, basically. We have our shovels, we have our keys. We have our food. Torches. We have bandages and anti-venom to help with incoming attackers. To help uh, get rid of dots before they become a problem. The ways and rituals of blood sacrifice are difficult to master. Those from beyond require a physical vessel if they are to make the crossing into our reality. The timing of the chance is imperative. Without the proper utterances at precise intervals, the process can fail spectacularly. A nameless abomination. A testament to my failures. It must be destroyed. Alright, let's get those trinkets off before I get 20% bonus stress for the entire run. Alright. Ooh, we have a toss-up. So, the boss is always in the furthest room from you. But there's two of those in this case. So we're going to go across the center and hope to find the boss soon. Oh, immediately. All right. Such blockages are unsurprising. We'll have plenty of time to explore afterwards. The but the big priority is just to get the boss out of the way so then we know how, whether or not we're even capable of exploring without uh, crippling ourselves. Oh, scouting now. I mean, scouting in general is good, but I would love to have scouting trigger when we're right by the boss, because then I'll know whether to go up or down. Right now, that's a bit of a gamble, unfortunately. Here, let's go ahead and light a torch. In radiance, may we find victory. Doing what I can to avoid any surprises that could be problems for us. Alright, take out the, the uh, drummer. I don't want any of your stress. Yeah, you too. Uh, sniper shot. 
There we go. Stressor is down. Hook where it hurts. That sounds like a... Okay, well, you failed. Basically, the name of your skill was a lie. And now you're going to be punished. Inter interesting that hook while it, where it hurts apparently makes them go backwards. Well, they're down. At least there's that. Yeah. I still find it amusing that a corpse bleeds. Like, that's a... Oh no, that corpse is losing hit points. What are we going to do? I could do a shadow fade, but it pushes me back. Damn it. Oh wait, no, thrown, yeah. This character is suddenly such a bummer when he's, uh, is he, you can use your attack still in the front? No. Yeah, you're in trouble if you move. Damn it. All right, well, I guess I'll awkwardly move forward for a little bit. I just don't want to increase the stress if I can avoid it. If I stun you, then I don't have to worry about you attacking them at the wrong time. Nope, that, would, that didn't amount to much at all. All right. Spirits are lifted. Purpose is made clear. So Wicked Hack, or, oh no, Bleed It Out doesn't even work here. We have to use Wicked Hack. 6 to 12. There we go. And I can Shadow Fade this turn now. Sniper Shot doesn't work. Unfortunately, Blind Fire will attack whoever it feels like, so I, sh I should probably should use Ebola. There we go. The corpses really messed up the whole Blind Fire thing, because they, they'll Blind Fire wherever they feel like instead of hitting the person right in front. Shadow Fade. An opportunity to make that work correctly. Ooh, and proper stun. At least something came out of that nonsense. Let's just weaken him up for you. And bleed it out. Let's just ruin him. As the fiend falls, Bye! A faint hope blossoms. Damn. As 2,000 gold just like that. So too will resistance. Hey, neighbors. There you are. We replaced pigs with an almost identical setup of humans. No one saw it coming. All right, thrown dagger. Let's take out the back guy. No such luck on high damage, but uh, it's something. How's your health going? You're down seven already. All right, let's go for the heal. Now you're down one. Math is fun. All right, uh, suppressing fire hits all of them, doesn't it? Two to three. I should really just take out the, the back guy, though. Otherwise, he's gonna cause me problems. And I'm not looking for that. Hey! Stop it. Let's work on the next guy down. Just reduce the attackers in general as fast as we can. He has point blank shot? Weird. He has a highwayman skill. Bit of a surprise. Thankfully, I have a natural response to that attack. Oh, no stun. That didn't amount to much. Gonna have to keep those heals coming. Alright, thankfully he's a big character, so... when Once we take out this guy, I can totally, uh... How's Suppressing Fire gonna do? Nope, it's gonna be garbage. Let's finish this guy off just to take out the extra attacker. Uh, because the guy takes up two slots, uh, my characters I can no normally only attack the second and third and fourth slots, they can't attack the front row, can can attack this guy. So at least that works out. Let's make a mess. Chat says they like the Viking lady with the halberd. Yeah, she's the Hellion's probably my favorite class in this game. Although the the, the new version of the uh, grave robber is doing is uh going across pretty well for me too. <laughs> These two characters in the front have gotten pretty effective. But goddamn, the Hellion is scary. Wow, we got another quickening satchel. I have, I just keep getting more of these. I don't even have a, I, I don't have a use for this besides trying to sell it or something. All right, let's use our key. I don't have room for either of those, shit. Well, I really want them. Um, we're getting close. It may be t I think it's time to just put our items back on. I'd rather grab these than dump them right now. We're like right next to the boss fight. He's two rooms away. Three if I don't scout and guess him properly. <laughs> hey guys. 
Oh no, that's exactly what I don't want to have happen. You son of a bitch. Alright, well I, I can push forward with a lunge, that'll help. Is it forward two? It is f oh, forward two is bad, it'll push the Hellion even further back. We don't want to do that, let's do... Flashing daggers, no. Throne dagger, single target, yeah. Maybe we'll take out a carrion eater. Or graze it. That's always fun. Well, not graze, but... Eh, politely reinforce its disbelief in things. I don't know. How does your move... Where's... Is your move listed as a stat? I don't think moves are listed. I think you just have to remember them. Alright. By moves, I mean their ability to move, specifically. There we go. Blind fire is all I can do up here. That's really unfortunate. Thankfully, she can do this. Whee! Alright. Time to ruin some fools. Thankfully, they're, they're just some dumb skeletons. But we're gonna take a hit. But the skeletons are gen I think the undead are the least threatening thing in the game, more or less. See, now I can lunge forward. Not that it matters because the fight's over, but... That gives me the opportunity to attack in a way that doesn't mess up my party can be layout. Fought. They can be beaten. Oops. Apparently that character had move selected too. Alright, there we go. Yeah, skeletons are probably the least threatening thing in the game because... I don't know, one of them has a, gob a goblet that stresses you out, but in general the, the skeletons are just characters that hit you with clubs and stuff. Like, they don't really tend to have... They don't really tend to attack you with anything dangerous. Okay, interesting. So we scouted successfully, and good news. We have a secret door, which means that we should get access... Uh, based on our experience so far, that'll give us access to uh, secret loot. With, worth, worth a lot of money. But there is a, there is a, an additional fight before the boss, unfortunately. But I think I'm going to have to just accept that. So we're going to have to... We're going to rest here. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Let's see, I brought so much food I can go ahead and just eat all of it. Do the maximum eat for some more reduced stress. It's excessive, but it's fine. Oops. Alright, bonus crit on self. Usually go with that. Yeah, the, I don't have really good... I don't really have good skills right now for the, uh... For Dargona. Unless I want to re remove a disease, but I don't think anyone in this party has one. No one has a disease. Nope, so probably not going to use them unless I want to specifically reduce stress and this particular setup doesn't seem interesting for that. Yeah. Wow. My... This Arbalest did not come with any uh, camping skills that make themselves more powerful uh, in combat, do they? Just some bonus speed in general? It's not a bad idea. Healing chance, that's not interesting. Let's see. Reduce stress and stress damage for four combats. Cool, but it's one companion, which is less cool. All right, we don't have great skills. All right, let's go ahead and do the sp speed on everybody. Self crit. And I could go for the stress reduction in general. Who would who would need that the most? Don't have someone that comes to mind necessarily. I'll just I'll just throw it on somebody, I guess. Well, you're gonna be critting all the time. I guess let's look at who has the lowest crit chance. 5.5. Nine. And you just got a bonus. So yeah, let's give the Let's give the reduced stress for the next few fights to the character that has the lowest crit chance, because they're less likely to have themselves uh critting. To reduce stress. Otherwise, we just don't really have anything useful out of the current setup. It's just kind of a, a, a unfortunate thing, but I can't currently afford to add uh, camping skills to the list of things that I spend all of my money on. Because <laughs> there's expenses to be had. Let's see. Let's just reduce the Vestal stress. There we go. Everyone feels better now, right? Are we going to get ambushed? Oh, we're, we're getting ambushed. Can be found in the most All right. Oh, they're just spiders. Place. But we're surprised. Oh, we're not that surprised. We're a little surprised. Now we're like 50% less surprised. <laughs> no, that would have been perfect if the first two things I clicked just ended the fight for us. Alright. 
There we go. We don't want to use Bleed It Out because it's going to cost me a debuff. There we go. Uh, chat, there's a... There's a very, very, very long list of people that want characters named after them at this point. I've been pretty overwhelmed. Uh, in general, you're better off leaving a comment on an actual... I didn't, there was no reason for me to click on that. Did it, did it automatically rearrange us back into the correct order or something? Anyway, you better if you're if you want to, requ to request a name uh, named after a character named after you, you're better off leaving it on a video, because then it's in my inbox and I can look at it later. Right now I'm a little busy to be adding stuff to my notes. All right, secret room. We have a key. Make me rich, money, meteorites of gold. All right, we'll use this other torch real quick. Is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow. All right, party is currently healthy. Hey, bad guys. Oh, they have two stressy douchebags. Stop, stop it. Stop being alive. No, you're doing the thing I didn't want you to do. That's like the exact thing I didn't want you to do. Damn it. There we go. All right. Careful. All right, so... Wicked Hack is pretty much all I need. E Jesus, the minimum damage is, is their hit points. Elian successfully got scary is what happened. All right, sniper shot. Right, I should have gone for you because of the... Str uh, why did I, yeah, why did I attack that character? This character causes stress. And gives people syphilis. Both bad things. Hey, stop it. I'm being rude now. There we go. No one got syphilis, yay! Just try to stop him in his tracks before he gets any attacks off or anything. Whether or not that's likely. And hack. Oh. You just had to do in that go and do that, didn't you? Thankfully he's not in rank one, so I can snipe him with other characters. For real uh for inconsistent results. There we go. Alright, so, party is almost as healthy as they could possibly be at going into this fight. Success so clearly Let's see. Or is it merely Let's go ahead and eat. Light? So we're all healed up there. That's a lot of gold. I'm gonna get rid of the holy water for that gold. There we go. Alright, here comes the big boss fight. So, Swine Prince is not a very complicated fight, but he's damaging. In fact, uh, he's one of the few bosses that's actually killed one of my characters before, because actually a lot of my characters died during normal runs, but one character, a maximum level Hellion, got one shot for 100% of their health and then died of a bleed at the beginning of their turn. So they, I think they went from full health to dead before I could do literally anything about it. That was the third version of the Swine Prince, though. Not the level, not the, not the slow level one, so hopefully that nonsense doesn't happen. Those of you that see my announcements about the streams have seen that crit firsthand because that's the screenshot I use in the stream announcement is uh, Captain Kerbal just getting all of their organs ripped out. Alright. So this guy's the, the worst, but basically the trick is don't hit Wilbur because you, you, you don't want to hit Wilbur, alright? Just don't hit Wilbur, it's fine. Alright, so no it's too early to heal, really. And he's not stunnable. Well, 10% chance of stunning, which seems unrealistic. So let's just try to do attacks. Might as well uh, help out a little bit. There we go. Shadow fade. Now we're just going to do throwing dagger over and over again. Just stack up that damage like we may. And with you, I'm probably going to keep... Let's see, Wicked Hack is 11 to 21. He has no defenses. If it bleeds, is 7 to 14, but it costs... Does, that's not a... Uh, it's 6 bonus damage, basically. But... But... The, 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 this might already be more damage. I don't know if, if it bleeds is currently worth it, mathematically. Yeah... I guess the bleed is more consistent than the than the range of the damage. 
and stacking it up could be nice, but I, I feel like just a wicked hack over and over again is the best I can do. 13.5 crit chance. Yeah, it even has a higher crit chance. Seems like the smart thing to do right here. So basically, basically just trying to... Oh, Jesus. There, there's the thing I was talking about. Fucking, really? God. Really? Just the first round immediately just proved me right about how bad this can go. Son of a bitch. All right. So this is a fight where it, ben it does benefit to have a... I think they they might have built a man at arms specifically around this fight, because they pre there's one fight in the, there's this fight and one of the uh, one of the crypty type bosses uh, both involve basically fights where you uh, there we go they both involve fights where you they like sort of highlight who's going to get attacked and the man at arms can specifically defend people over and over again so that's like the point of that attack. Thankfully, we have a lot of damage, so we, we can probably outpace how much he's going to do to us. Interesting, he attacked him instead of the person that was marked. Oh, uh, here it comes again. Yeah, the real the, this is really a DPS race, because you this is a fight where you cannot out-heal the amount of damage coming at your party. You can just try to maintain. Oh, a low, a low roll. Bummer. Alright. Let's heal up our character as best we can. Alright. It helps to have those two legendary items right now, that's for sure. Yes, a non-crit. Like a reasonable person. Still not great, though. Not great news. Damn it, stop it. He's low on hit points, though. We should we should be we should have this. We should be good to go. Even if it feels like it kinda came down to the last turn. I yeah, I gotta fit, I gotta stick with Divine Grace over the other one. Nine, five, ah. Tough call. It's hard to pick, really say which one's the better one to heal in that situation, but hopefully he'll just be dead now, right? No, don't play with me right now. Don't play with me. Don't. Stop. Well, that was a weak attack, at least. Fuck you. Alright, boss is down. Now Wilbur's alone and, and not wearing clothes, really. Well, oh, you son of a bitch. You stunned my healer. And I can't do normal attacks against you from here. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Alright. Still, he, he surely he can't kill anyone, right? That kind, that kind of nonsense isn't going to happen here. Let's see, is this a stun? It's a knockback. That's not going to help me here. So blind fire. Fuck you, Wilbur. Okay, you need to calm your shit right now. We are about to get on death's door here from, from a squealing pig. None of that, please. There we go. There we go. Die. He's not dead yet. <laughs> there we go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Be wary. According to the chat, Triumph there's an achievement. <laughs> a dizzying fall. Chat says there's an achievement for getting killed by Wilbur that they apparently got. So that's impressive. Bonus chance to skill, uh, to stun... A fucking crit stone? I feel like 1% crit cannot be worth losing one speed. That's such a bad trade-off. Holy water and shovel. Well, I can grab the shovel at the very least. Let's just heal. That's a torch. Well, that happened. There we go. I used a torch when I was trying to eat, because I'm a genius. Um... 20% to skills, I mean to stuns. That's not a crazy thing to have, but where would I put it? Because I think I'm going to keep going, since I was a successful run, and the, the party's not unredeemably hel uh, healthy. So I might as well explore some of these rooms for the loot I can get for it, to make the run worthwhile. I probably, uh, I guess running, eating all that food might have been a bad call in that case. Let's see. Dare I dump anti-venom for a dazzling charm? Let's see. I think I'll do that. And then a thousand voices shouted out, and we're not pleased altogether. <laughs> All right, so I think my current strategy is I'm going to move forward, and we're going to go until I until I use up my food or something. 
And if I think we're on the verge of starving, I might pull out just to avoid the stress problems. Maybe. Hello, Grave Robber. Do your thing. There we go. Nothing else in this hallway. Good. Alright. This is our post-victory uh, pillaging mode. Howdy, y'alls. Just gonna have to work on you guys back here. One of these days I'll get a proper crit that way. Alright, let's keep healing this, these guys up because they need it. Rude. I'm just kind of just relaxing right now a little bit. <laughs> After taking down uh, the Swine Prince. It's hard to be too worried about these guys. But watch that be my downfall. Alright, one caster down. Now we need to work on the other one. Wicked Hack does not attack that row. So we have to use it if it bleeds. Not quite good enough. 7 plus 2 is... So, yeah. 6 hit points. Oh, here it comes. Stop it. Oh, hey, no stress. Just a debuff. That character can do so much worse. And now they won't. How's that for stress management now? Grand of the Old Gods. Or for the Old Gods. When I see these two characters standing up front, I'm just like, I, I want to use Rake! Just makes me miss that skill. Oh, come now. Oh. Well. I guess I'll use Bola. Because there's too many corpses on the field. And I don't really feel like shooting them on purpose. Or on accident. Exclusively. There we go. You'll be down soon. Don't worry. I have bandages still, right? Yeah. Deal with that real quick. And then, uh... Make, give them a new, few more holes. Yeah. Really, the Hellion can single-handedly kill half these characters in one hit. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Well, this is getting shitty. Uh, inventory management's getting shitty. I guess I'll get rid of bandages next for money. The money's why I'm, the money's why I'm still here. Dare I? Maybe it'll, maybe it'll play with my buffs, right? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Wh Warren's Explorer. Yeah positive trait on a new character that lacks traits otherwise. That's an empty room over there. I should probably just go north instead. We know that there's a fight up there at least. I should probably just give up and eat. Hello, Pit. None of that, please. I might want to just eat so I don't start the next fight with low hit points. No touchy. Hello, bag. We must keep our courage up despite the bleakness. There we go. Justifying my use of that stack. Alright. I think I'm going to end it with this fight. So let's go ahead and just eat up. Just, just to not start a fight on low health. Alright, in we go. Howdy, folks. Oh, you just brought everyone around, didn't you? They're a regular rolled distributed party. Oh, cool. That didn't work on me. I don't need any of your stress, frankly. Out of here with your nonsense. I have no patience for your syphilitic nature. Alright, so we'll focus on firing on this guy. Because, uh... Oh, it's a crit. No. That's the thing I didn't want to have happen. So I was going to iron I was going to iron swan the swine wretch when it was the hellion's turn, but then we crit and for once that was actually kind of a good a bad thing. Oh, you moved forward, did you? Oh. Oh, thank you swine slasher for going backwards. You put him in wicked hack range. Shit. <laughs> I guess it wasn't as fortunate as it seemed at first. Ah, no crit. Could have gone better. I'll probably throw an Ebola at this point. Yeah. Given the given the options. 
That seems to make sense. Bleed it out, it'll just destroy this guy. Does it have any lost damage? No, it increases your damage. It's great. He's ruined. Yep, so he'll be dead in a moment. Um, not much reason to heal at the moment. Might as well just throw in a judgment. It would have been a funny crit, wouldn't it? But it wasn't. Alright. Bola will wipe out the front row. The ground quakes. Oh, and the crit put him forward a slot into Hellion range. Well, w wicked, wicked slash range. Not that it turned out to matter. Ah, uh, dare I? And driven into the mud. I said I was gonna leave, but I still have an empty inventory space. I, f I feel like I can take more. <laughs> I say as I look at 7,500 gold of gems, plus another 750 of, of jade, and Jesus Christ. <laughs> what is that? 5,000? 5,500 5, gold of a... Uh, of gold? <laughs> I got I got gold and gold. Yeah, let, let's just get out of here before we starve or something. But I got a torch. Alright, I've had some bad runs today, but this one gave me... <laughs> nearly 20,000 gold and a uh, a shield I might just try to sell or something, but uh oh, bummer three portraits <laughs> so we got a total of four portraits I guess that uh, that does help with the guild I guess, but I would, I would very much prefer to be getting any deeds at random that, granted that was not the place where deeds happen unfortunately, as expected Sozni is now no longer capable of healing these lower level characters, which is a bummer. Oh, <laughs> Claire is now obsessed with food. Vanilla is afraid of the ruins, and Sozni has disease resist, and can no longer go on low level runs. God damn it. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Ah, I think I just need to get more... I think I just need to get more healers, because the, 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 we're having problems with these uh, occultists. Oh, shit. Bogdanius' debauchery, debauchery has reached new heights, whereabouts unknown. They got, tw they got 81 stress for healing, but they're, they're just gone now, huh? Yep. Do I even have another occultist in that level? Oh, motherfucker. Holy shit. So I have, <laughs> I have three established healers. They're all level three. The only low-level one I had just w took off, <laughs> and my roster's full. <laughs>